Davis Leong from Telespark coming at you from self-isolation with another science experiment that you can do at home. Today we are going to be creating an invisible fire extinguisher. So here I have my lovely unicorn magic scented candle straight out from my unicorn camper van. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do a very simple classic reaction using baking soda and vinegar. So you might have put these two ingredients together when you were making a volcano at home. And we're going to use the exact same principle today. So there's no specific measurements really, you just need a tiny little bit of baking soda and a little bit of vinegar to start this reaction between the sodium bicarbonate in the baking soda and the acetic acid in the vinegar. So when those two react, one of the products is CO2 gas. So that's what all these bubbles are forming here. So there's CO2 gas in this cup and it's a little bit heavier than the air around it. So if you just start to tip your cup out like that, that CO2 is going to fall out and if you do it over your candle, it's going to douse the flame of your candle. So as some of you might know about the fire triangle, there are three main components to making a flame. You need oxygen, fuel, and a source of heat. So this candle, the fuel is the wax, the source of heat is this lighter, and the oxygen is in the atmosphere all around us. But what happens when I take this CO2 that's being produced, so let's do this experiment again here, when I take this CO2 that's being produced, I am pouring it over the candle and it's forcing all the oxygen away from the flame and that's removing one side of our fire triangle, making it impossible for the fire to keep burning. So you've got some bubbles here, some CO2 is building up in the cup. Now you just very gently hold it over your flame and start tipping it out and Presto! Unicorn magic! The flame is gone. You can even do this with a set of stairs and multiple candles and allow the CO2 to keep cascading down. You can put a whole suite of candles out with this technique. Although I wouldn't recommend it for fighting real fires. But that's all there is to it. So hopefully you have some success at home and feel free to share your own videos of extinguishing candles with us at Telespark on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks everyone!